Ave Maria. Sadly, many Catholics are receiving the Holy Communion in these three improper ways. Number one, not being in a state of grace at the time of reception of the Holy Eucharist. What does it mean to be in a state of grace? The Catholic Dictionary defines state of grace as condition of a person who is free from mortal sin and pleasing to God. It is the state of being in God's friendship and the necessary condition of the soul at the death in order to attain heaven. In 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 27, Apostle Paul wrote, So then, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of sinning against the body and blood of the Lord. So we see that it is a sin actually. It is a mortal sin to receive the Holy Eucharist when we have some form of mortal sin attached to us. The church teaches that it is a sacrilege. Number two, not bowing before receiving. The United States Conference of Catholic Bishops' general instruction of the Roman Missal states that when receiving Holy Communion, the communicant bows his head or her head before the sacrament as a gesture of reverence. The sign of reverence is also made before receiving the precious blood, though the norm in the United States is to receive while standing. After bowing your head, individuals are also allowed to receive while kneeling if they so choose. GIRM 160 So we see that it is a sign of reverence to bow before we receive the Holy Eucharist, the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, which is Jesus himself. Number three, not saying Amen after reception of Holy Communion. In the order of Mass, it is written, after the priest has reverently consumed the body and blood of Christ, the communicants come forward in reverent procession and make a preparatory act of reverence by bowing their head in honor of Christ's presence in the sacrament. They receive Holy Communion standing. The priest says, The body or blood of Christ, the communicant replies, Amen. So next time you receive the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the Mass, please remember to say Amen if you had not been doing so. Have I forgotten to add anything? Use the comment section to please let us know. I pray the good Lord, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, keep and bless you all the days of your life in the mighty name of J. E. S. U. S. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen.